This little girl doesn't want to wait for dinner. She just wants to start eating now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the Homestead. Today we're gonna to be in the kitchen and we're gonna be making beef short ribs in the crock pot. This is part of Crocktober. Um, I wanna thank Jenny for inviting me to be part of this collaboration. This recipe comes from the stayathomechef.com and we are using some of our beef short ribs that we have from one of our a cow that we butchered a while back. So we're gonna use these. Uh, the recipe says we're gonna braise them, or not braise them, we're going to sear them in this pot. I've got our kettle, excuse the mess. I've got our kettle with water that I'm going to use with some bouillon mix. And we're going to make some beef stock. It calls for three cups. I'm going to use more than that because we're gonna be kind of doubling-ish the recipe. It also says you can add whatever vegetables you want. We've got some potatoes. So Lucy right here, Lucy say hi. Hi. Lucy's cutting up some potatoes. We're gonna throw those in there. Uh, maybe some onions. I don't think we have any carrots or celery. So we're just kind of throwing in what we've got. We're gonna make it work. And then it's cook on high for eight hours or cook on low for eight hours. I wanna eat before eight hours. I didn't get started early enough. So we're gonna cook it on high for two hours and then we're gonna finish it out on low. So that's the plan. Let's get to it said we are doubling the recipe so i'm going to put in six cups of boiling water and then i'm going to use six teaspoons of the beef stock we'll mix this up and then we'll put it in the crock pot and then i will get to searing the um the beef the short ribs be a little bit shorter we're gonna be right at... perfect there's our six cups hot water there's one. I'm gonna need something else. So here, can you grab me a um, butter knife, please? Mm -hmm. To pry this stuff out of here. Come on. Oh, there we go. One. Thank you, sweetheart. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then we'll dump it in there. And I'll catch you when we start to braise the, uh, I keep on saying braise. I don't know why I say that. When we keep, when we're going to sear the beef short ribs. One thing I try to do, and the kids like to do, is include the kids in what we're making. Um, so Grace helps out all the time, Lucy helps out all the time. So right now Lucy is cutting up these potatoes to go in there and helping make dinner. Right sweetheart? Mm -hmm. You enjoy it? Yep. Yep. She was just saying she's glad she's around. Some of the other kids went uh, on an outing with my parents, which is great, but she was happy to be here to help. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Watch out, sweetheart. I don't want this getting on you. I'm just going to dump this in here. Yeah, there's no mess. Okay, I got mostly without a mess. Here are our short ribs. This uh, pan is hot. I'm just going to quickly put some salt and pepper on here, move them over to there, and then put them in there. Lucy's so sad that she's crying. It's just a sad day for her, right, sweetheart? Oh, it's so sad. She's got to cut up the onion and she really, she's really attached to that onion. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so we got some salt. Start putting the onions, just go ahead and put them in the hole and it'll cook, bake down or cook down. Oh, set it in gently. There you go. I need kind of just you know what? We'll wait on those until we get the meat in so that there's room for the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and start searing these. Some of these are obviously smaller than others. 
And this is an unnecessary step. It just kind of helps add to the flavor. So I'm not too terribly worried about getting this perfect. So just go ahead, I'll keep shearing these, I'll turn them, turn them, turn them, and then add them to the beef broth, and then uh, a couple more ingredients, and we're done. Alright, I'm going to take them straight from here, and put them in here. And like I said, this is just, you can see how some of the sides here are nice and caramelized, some of them not as much, it's all going to be good. The taste, it's just kind of enhancing that flavor. So we're going to move these all over here, and then... The recipe calls for Worcestershire sauce, which we don't have, we can't find right now. Thought for sure we had it, but that's kind of how we roll in this house. So we're going to, we'll let this one go for a little bit longer. We're gonna use this balsamic glaze and uh, see how that goes. You could also use like a balsamic vinegar and some soy sauce. We may add a little bit of soy, but we're just kind of, adding that umami flavor so i'm gonna put that in here i'm gonna add these ones back on yeah if you want to get the soy sweetheart that'd be great and then what i'll probably do is i will take like a cup of the beef broth you see how the all the stuff in the bottom of the pan i will take a cup of the beef broth and kind of deglaze this pan so that we're not losing any of that flavor because that's the good stuff. You don't want to lose all those concentrated flavors. Okay, Lucy is measuring out two teaspoons of garlic powder and two teaspoons of onion powder. Uh, we probably should have put that in before we put anything else in the broth to dissolve it, but it'll be fine. And then we're going to add, it called, the recipe calls for fresh rosemary. We don't have any. We're going to put some of these dried rosemary leaves in there. It'll be just as good. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and kind of sprinkle it around and then we'll grab a, a spoon from over here, just a regular old spoon. I'm just gonna mix it in. Flip that over, flip that over, and that'll all dissolve. It's got, it's gonna have like six or seven hours to dissolve. So that'll dissolve now. Let's take the rest of these and see if we can fit them in there. We have a family of nine. We've got seven kids and two adults. One of the kids is almost an adult. He's 17. So that's why we're doubling the recipe. Um, we probably could use a larger crock pot, but we're going to make this work because that's what we do. I'm sure that's what you guys do. You just make it work with what you've got. Um, so we're going to put this in here. Like I said, I'll probably, um, oh, you can put that in actually right now, sweetheart. Uh, that's a great question. Like I said, I'm going to link the recipe below. This um, recipe calls for a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add, I'm going to eyeball this balsamic glaze. This balsamic glaze is mostly vinegar. Um, we put it on salads too. It's really, really good. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Again, we're just adding flavor. We'll go ahead and add this in here. And then we'll add a little bit of soy sauce. That looks good. Yeah, go ahead. I'll tell you when. You kind of have to, oh, yeah, there you go. Kind of shake it a little bit and put it around. There you go. Good. That'll be good. Okay, soy sauce there. Let's go ahead and take some of this rosemary. Rosemary's good. Okay. Um, why don't you see if you can fit some of these potatoes in there? I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of water in this pan, kind of rinse it out, and I'll use a, probably a spatula to kind of scrape it out, dump it in there, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so I just took a spatula, put some hot water in there. Can you get it down in there? So you can see I scraped off as much as I can. I don't want to leave any of that flavor in there, so we're just going to dump it back in here. We have a full pot. You can see there's still some in there, but I tried to get this here, put on the, tried to get as much of that out of there as I could. And then all I'm going to do is take my tongs and just kind of try to get everything under here so that that balsamic is in there and has a chance to dissolve 
in there. And I will come back several times as we're going and kind of take this and kind of just stir it up. So let's go ahead, put in as many potatoes as we can fit, and then we'll find something to do with the rest of them. Maybe we'll bake them later. But uh, that'll have to work for now. Let's see if we can get the lid on there. Sweet, lid's on. We'll turn it to high. And we'll let it go for a couple hours. I'll come back and show you what. It, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. If you are new to the channel, please think about leaving a comment, subscribing, thumbs up. It really um, help up the channel a lot. We'd really appreciate it. Um, but also take a look around. Um, like I said, we have seven kids. We have a milk cow who's currently dried up and will be breeding soon. We have a few horses. We've got pigs. We've got turkeys, chickens, rabbits. There's always something coming. There's always something going. And uh, we just try to do as much as we can on our own within reason. We're busy. we got lots of activities, basketball, ballet, gymnastics, homeschool, all of those things. So we try to be realistic in what we can do, but do as much as we can when we can. So I'll show you what this looks like in a couple hours, and then we'll switch it back down to low and let it coast into dinner time. This little girl doesn't want to wait for dinner. She just wants to start eating now, right? Yeah. Okay, it's about 3.15. It's been a little over two hours. Uh, this was on high. We're going to turn it down to low now, and then it'll be ready for dinner at like 6 or whatever. So, looking good. See the short ribs in there? Maybe between the, uh, the reflection off of it. They're in there. They look good. Also, I found a sprig of rosemary in my wife's deck box herb garden. So, I bet you it'll be smelling like rosemary pretty quick here. Okay, so it is done. She couldn't wait for everyone else to sit down, so we just had a bite. What do you think? It's really good. The house smells amazing. Um, you can see the sprig of rosemary kind of um, got all browned out and stuff, but it smells great. So we're going to go ahead and serve this up, and then uh, we'll give you what everybody thinks. Well, guys. We're sitting down to eat, and um, everybody, what do you guys think? It's Good. delicious! Yum. Lucy, Yummy! Lucy, what did you say when we first sat down? You said, Dad, we need... More of this. Well, she said we need to do this again. This was, um, it was super easy, and it was, it's really good. So, uh, the house smells good. The house does smell really good. So... I think if we had more time, I would probably reduce the rest of the liquid in the crock pot down into a gravy and then maybe make mashed potatoes as well. But the potatoes in with it is just easier and faster. So like everything in one pot, made a salad and we're good to go. So it's delicious. Delicious. Uh, if you guys are interested, I will leave the original recipe in the links below. Um, but like I said, we kind of did our own thing. We didn't have Worcestershire sauce. We didn't have carrots. We didn't have yeah, celery. Yeah. So we just did what we did and it turned out really good. I think I probably would put more of the balsamic glaze and more soy sauce in than I did. Um, and maybe a little bit more garlic. I like garlic, so I think I could put more garlic in than what the recipe called for. But um, super good, super easy and uh, a really easy way to feed our whole family with a minimal amount of work. So thank you so much for, to Jenny for inviting me to be part of Crocktober. Um, I will leave a link in the description below to all of the other videos and the playlist for that. Uh, you're not gonna wanna miss that. There's a ton of people who are doing that and there, I think there are videos all 31 days of October. So don't miss out on that. If you've enjoyed this, I think that our two-year-old is gonna subscribe. I was gonna ask you to subscribe. So. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, think about subscribing, leaving a comment, thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. So thank you so much for watching. God bless you and your family. And we'll what do we say? We'll see you guys in the next video.